So Christian and Scooby, the act actually started when I was way younger. I was about 10 years old and I really wanted a pet. And so, and we were traveling around. My parents were actually performers when I was a, when I was a kid. And so since we traveled often, my parents decided to give me a little dog. So that's why we got a Chihuahua. And really the act started super randomly. I was already kind of practicing like handstands, trying to figure out what my skill would be within like the circus world. One day I was just like laying on my stomach on the floor watching TV and Scooby was sitting like on my back and my dad was like, eating. And he always used to do this thing when he would move his paws up and down to ask for a treat or something. And so he started doing that. And my dad kind of, it sparked the idea of like, maybe when I was trying this one hand balancing skill, we should try to put him on my back and see if he still does the trick. The next day or two, we took him to practice when I went to practice to try to see if he would do it. And he did it and it was kind of cute. And it kind of was like, oh, that's awesome. Like, what else could we try with him? That's how it all started with the original Scooby. And then obviously years later, we got Percy who's taken over for Scooby. Most of the shows that people will see, it's actually Percy with the stage name of Scooby. A couple of years ago, we were able to first NFL performance and we performed for the Chicago Bears. So like being in front of like 70,000 people was super crazy. One of my things in life, I guess, is like, don't take yourself too seriously. And so part of that is just kind of like, I can't believe that playing with my dog has given me a career essentially. And you know, like a successful one. The fact that I get to be playing with my dog and doing this for a living is pretty, pretty cool. Can't believe how far we've come when we're in front of so many people. And like I said, as a basketball fan, being around big games and stuff really means a lot. So sports has always been essentially my my first love. You know, the circus life part of it was just something that I kind of grew up into. And then the saying goes that people run away to join the circus. With me, it's kind of like I did the opposite. I ran away from the circus to go to college. So when I went to college, it was just cool to be around so many other kids my age. Then, you know, when I graduated, that's when it was kind of whether I would pursue performing, continue that, or pursue my career that I went to school for. And performing opportunities kind of came up. And then I did America's Got Talent. And the next thing you know, like we were pretty much full time performing and we have been ever since. You know, that kind of was the transition where we started doing the halftime shows. And, you know, like we've been kind of expanding on that ever since. I knew of halftime performers before us. Really, I wanted to be an athlete. Obviously, I didn't really get the opportunity because I didn't grow up into like a regular high school where there's like varsity and all that. In my fantasy life of being like a professional, like football player or basketball player, I realized like, all right, like that's not what I'm going to be doing. What can I do? That's when it kind of like clicked. All right, maybe that could be me. And then that's when I guess I started pursuing the performing thing more. You know, when we were on America's Got Talent and we had that run almost 10 years ago now, I remember I was really nervous and he was like super chill. I would think that he would feel my nerves, but it almost was like he was balancing me out. He was very relaxed and he was already a little bit older at that point too. And I remember there was one of the tricks that he used to do where he would walk on his front paws. And by that point at shows, I wasn't really having him do it anymore because I like he was a little older. So if he wasn't doing it, like I was, that's fine. Like he's just communicating with me that he's a bit older for that. But then he pulled it off. Like, it's almost like he felt that it was like a very important performance for me. And he did that, that little walk with his front paws. It was obviously super exciting because I was like, oh my God, he's doing it now too. It's, I don't know, they have a way of like kind of feeling you too. I mean, with everything that we've been talking about is pretty much all because of my dogs. They've changed my life. I mean, even s saying it for the better is almost feels like an understatement. I feel like they've just completely changed that. You know, allowing me to kind of have the the opportunities that we've had. I always joke around, but I mean it. Like there's a reason why at the beginning of our routine, the dog isn't revealed yet. Cause once the dog's revealed, nobody wants to see just me anymore. So like, you know, with that being said, like that's kind of the, the whole point. I'm like, what's, what makes Christian and Scooby special? I'm not blind to it is the fact that the Scooby is the main attraction. It should be called Scooby and Christian, really. Um, I'm just the plus one here, but we've been to so many places around the world even because of them. So we're kind of just following their lead and seeing how far we can take it. When we paddle out into the lineup, people smile. There's no doubt, you know, and we'll take off on a wave and I hear people going, Rosie, go Rosie. It's, it's pretty cool. There's actually quite a few people who surf with their dogs and then we have these competitions where they surf on their own and they're